When I enrolled at Marywood, I knew what I was interested in, but I had no idea where it would take me. So I took the courses that challenged me. Small classes, open spaces, and blended learning all let me learn the way it felt best. The campus just really fits. I feel like I belong here. They told me I'd find my passion and realize my purpose. And I can tell you firsthand, it's true. Marywood University, make your mark. I spent most of my life in Philadelphia, and I figured it would be best for me to get someplace out of the city, but still wanted to stay in state. And Marywood was actually one of the schools like I found out about that had a school of architecture just dedicated to just architecture. So that's what really pretty much like brought me here. Always looked for like a small school and like this, like the moment I stepped on campus, this was definitely like feel I was going for. You think just because it's like a small area, there'd be like nothing to do, but there's actually a lot. And you also think like maybe like all the people are kind of just like off to themselves, but really it's like really highly connected here. Like it's really easy to make friends here and just overall the whole experience has been really, really nice. Welcome to Lagrin Hall. This is the freshman only residence hall here on Marywood's campus. What that means for you is that this is the spot where all of our first time students who wanna live on campus will be living. What's really awesome about that is that it creates this awesome sense of community. Everybody's in the same boat transitioning from high school to college together. Mm -hmm. We understand that security is a huge concern for our prospective students. In order to ensure that on campus, we do have this front desk staff 24 hours a day. Also, everything on campus is key swipe access. So in order for freshmen to come into the lobby, they do have to swipe in. You are allowed to have a guest on campus and they can stay two consecutive nights with a valid ID. That's a great point, Maddie. Another really cool thing about this building is that right here on our first floor is home to the Student Health Services Office. So if students that are living in this building ever feel sick or under the weather, they could head right in there. And all of the staff is nurse practitioners, so they can write you prescriptions, help you out if you're sick. And if you do get a prescription, you could have it filled at any local pharmacy and delivered right to this front counter. And that's a great service for students who choose not to bring their car on campus. However, all freshmen are allowed to bring their car on campus and it is totally free. Freshman parking is only a few minute walk and it's located right behind the gym. A little bit about the dorms in this building, they are suite style. So it's two to a room, connected to a bathroom, connected to another two students. Actually, let's just go check one out ourselves. Yeah, let's go. What students really love about the rooms here in Lagrin Hall is that they feel just like home. There's carpeted floors, painted walls, and you'll never see any tile or even cinder blocks. Look around, you could even decorate however you want. A few of the amenities that students love in this building is that there's heat and AC in every room, so I can control the temperature to however hot or cold that I want it. There is also free cable, so all you have to do is bring your TV, plug it in, and you can watch as much Sunday football as you can. Like Maddie and I mentioned earlier, the bathroom is right here inside your dorm room. There's no communal bathroom that 40 students are sharing out in the hallway. What's even more helpful is that the sink is kept right here in your bedroom. So if your roommate's taking a shower, you're free to brush your teeth or do your hair whenever you'd like. Another big perk is that there's free laundry all over campus. So you don't have to bring quarters, no swipes, no nothing. Just throw your load in and you're good to go. There are a few laundry rooms on each floor so you don't even have to take it anywhere. We can't wait to see you on moving day. For me personally, I feel like, obviously because I have a master's degree now, I could teach full time if I wanted to, but I kind of came into the program thinking, I don't really know where this is gonna take me. I'm just gonna keep my eyes open and keep my options open. So 
it could be that I don't full t teach full time, but maybe I become a children's book illustrator. You know, I just, I was kind of like, whatever opportunities come from this, I'm going to be prepared for. But I think it could help your career. Uh, there was another person in the class who was a friend of mine, and uh, he almost had the same background that I did, that he'd been an adjunct teacher for a long time and wanted to do something different than what he'd been doing. So I know the same thing for him. It, it changed what he does on his nine to five job and it also opened up the opportunity to teach but it, it can just make you aware of different fields and different avenues that maybe you hadn't thought about or explored before you were in the program. As far as the the type of work I do it kind of sent me off in a completely different direction that I probably wouldn't have gone, gone in before. Uh, one of the projects we had here as uh, in the program for my thesis program uh, was to illustrate three children's books. So since then I've been trying to focus on that and see if I can get them published. So that was a direction that I never would have gone in had I not, you know, come back to the program. I was actually in this room and um, it was a week long class. And I remember thinking, I don't want this to end. This is just the greatest. I'm up here every day, sketching, painting from, you know, beginning of the day to the end of the day. And I thought it was just an amazing experience. And if you had asked me about that, I guess before I was in the program, I wouldn't have even known what I was going to be doing for that for that day. But I just thought it was, uh, you know, a really incredible experience. So I think it's being exposed to things that you just haven't had the opportunity to see before. day one I was able to work on uh, get my hands on uh, a camera and to work on any sort of project. I started my day one off as a filmmaker. I want to know what you will do in your first day. So the entire program's online, so every, all our revising's done online, all of our assignments are done online, everything is there. So yes, we do have books, we do have to keep up with our reading assignments, but everything is done strictly on our computers. It took a while to get used to it, but now that I'm used to it, it's um, actually much easier because it works around my kids' schedules, my work schedule, so I do it kind of at my own pace. With a degree from Marywood, what would you do? I would know exactly how you're feeling. I would optimize sports performance. With an interior architecture degree from Marywood, I would breathe new life into old buildings. I would call the shots. With a degree in nutrition and dietetics from Marywood, I would make quality military meals. I would make sure you're ready to play. Throw me a crescent wrench and I'll light the world. Marywood University. Discover your passion, realize your purpose. And we're out. I took a flight lesson when I was 14 um, at a local airport near my house. It was actually the same one Marywood trained out of. Um, so I ended up taking a lesson there, really enjoyed it. Um, 
but continued doing that throughout my high school career. I had about 20 hours flight time, and then I found that a local school actually had the program. So I said, wow, this is, this is great. I'm going to go check it out. I uh, came up to Marywood, did a visit, um, found out it was the same place I was flying out of it. I said, well, this couldn't be a better deal. Um, I'd love to come here. Uh, I think Marywood's a great community, especially for our program. Uh, we have a, a nice tight-knit group of guys in our program. Um, our advisors, we have uh, two people for our advisors and they just couldn't be any better to us. Um, we're very close with them. We can come to them for anything regarding flying um, and you just don't get that at a larger school. Um, you wouldn't get that at, a, at a, a big school, you're just a number, but here everyone knows each other um, and you can get anything done you need to get done. If you were unsure about what you wanted to do and you were looking for a, an absolutely exciting career full of travel and just something new every day where you're not sitting in an office, I would say look into aviation. Um, you're, you're going to find a job that you love and you're gonna love it your entire time doing it because no one day is the same as the next. Since we have a smaller school, it's e you have smaller classes, so it's easier to get the one-on-one -on -one communication with the teachers and professors, and they're very, they're very open to having meetings with you if you need to meet with them for like if you have questions on a test or if you want to talk about their results and see what you got wrong. They're very open to that and open to any questions you have in class. The classes are very, they're formal but they're informal at the same time. Like it's more of a conversation that you're having with the professor instead of just being lectured the entire time. At right now I'm learning about doing medications for patients, how to have patient communication. It's the important things that people tend to forget sometimes. Something that I think is incredible about the program here for music therapy is they get you started on your clinical internship hours before you even graduate. Um, so once I graduate, I don't have to do as much time as a normal music therapy graduate would have to do um, doing clinical before I can get my board certification. Um, so there's definitely a lot of preparation and a lot of molding that goes into me getting my degree that I appreciate so much. So. By the time I reach my senior year, I think I'll be able to have a better understanding of where I'm supposed to go and what I'm supposed to do or what I want to do, um, and being able to find those resources to be able to apply for the correct internships that would push me in the direction that I want to be in in my career.
I originally wanted to go into art of some sort. Uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do, if I wanted to do graphic design or art. Um, and then I shadowed at a structural engineering firm, um, which kind of got me into architecture in general because I didn't know if I wanted to do art, engineering, um, anything of the like. And my dad suggested architecture because he was like, this is so you, like you're so creative and you like to build things, you like to create things. Uh, it, he just kind of pushed me towards it, but I'm really glad he did because it was a really good fit. I actually have a full-time job lined up already, which is awesome. Um, I've been interning at a local firm for two years now, uh, on and off, and I've been working for them throughout school uh, because I don't normally have classes on Tuesday, Thursday, just because of my schedule um, in architecture. And so it's been great. Uh, I have a great relationship there. They really like my work ethic, and they're really excited to bring me on, so I'm very excited about that.